Can you tell I need to do laundry? It is a <laughs> hot mess. This is the spot I've been dreading the most. I pretty much always opt for function over fanciness, especially as I've gotten older, as my kids have gotten older. I just don't have time to make things look Pinterest worthy. A palette of gold. Well, hey friends, it's Natalie. So glad you stopped by to hang out with me today while I declutter and organize this kitchen. And I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed right now just even saying those words. So thank you for being here and for giving me some moral support. This is another Messy to Minimal episode, which if you're new here, that's the series that I started a couple of years ago where I just decided enough was enough and I went through every single thing that we own. And in about a year's time, my husband and I were able to get rid of over 90% of our stuff. We're not really counting things anymore. Nowadays, it's much more about maintaining and just pursuing simplified living. And so this is the next step on that journey. Decluttering is more of a lifestyle, especially when you have young children. And our kids have been helping themselves to the kitchen and the food a little bit more than they used to. And so stuff definitely gets disheveled, but I'm not gonna blame it all on the kids because my husband and I are, <laughs> are definitely mess makers too. So we're gonna take this place from messy to more minimal. And I would like to thank Thrive Market for sponsoring a little portion of this video. In a bit, I'm gonna share more about them with you. In fact, I think the first place that we're going to declutter is the pantry storage, like grab and go food storage that we have in our kitchen island. This is where I keep a lot of those snacks and produce and fresh stuff that we have on hand. And right now it is a <laughs> hot, mess. I'm going to roll up my sleeves and get started. I'm so glad you're here with me. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it while you're watching it. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more from me. Drop this emoji in the comments so that I can get down there and chat with you guys a little bit more. And if you'd like to go the extra mile, how about you get up and we will declutter something together. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be an entire room of your house. Pick something small and let's get that ball rolling. You think we have enough apples? <laughs> There is nothing like starting with a small task to get the ball rolling and to make me feel like I can tackle bigger things. Getting through these drawers, it didn't take me very much time at all, but wow, what a difference it makes. A non-refrigerated fruit and veggie drawer. So I think that's what this top drawer is gonna be. I've got this little drawer divider in here, fruits, veggies, and then this bottom drawer is going to be the bread drawer, possibly bread and crackers. And I think this is going to work much better for how we've arranged the uh, pantry storage in our cabinet. So now, before I move on to the other spots in the kitchen, because there is plenty more to do. I've only scratched the surface. I do want to get through this Thrive Market box that just arrived because I made an order of some of our essentials. And I'm gonna take just a couple of minutes to share more about Thrive Market with you guys. Thanks so much to Thrive Market for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I haven't even cracked into this box yet, but I am so excited to open it up and see what I ordered this time. I make monthly orders through Thrive Market, which is an online grocery store. It's membership based and that membership fee can be as little as $5 a month, which totally pays for itself because their prices for their grocery items are so good. But they have way more than just groceries. They have 
pantry stuff, they have cleaning supplies, kids and baby stuff. They have beauty and wellness items, supplements, uh, and this time I actually ordered a bunch of um, spices. I will show those to you. I'm just gonna get everything out onto the counter and do a little haul. But it's super easy to navigate their website or their mobile app. They have so many different options that you can filter out whatever it is that you're looking for and see exactly what fits your dietary needs or lifestyle. And they are accessible which is so awesome. They have great prices and people save an average of 30% on their grocery orders compared to just walking into a grocery store. Plus you can do it from the comfort of your own home. If you're interested in getting a membership for yourself, I will have those details in the description box for you guys. It's thrivemarket.com slash Natalie Bennett. It saves you 30% off your first order and they'll send you a free gift up to $50 in value, which I get free gifts from them all the time and I'm not a new customer anymore. And by the way, when you sign up through my link, I don't get any sort of kickback or commission from that. That is just for you guys to be able to try Thrive Market out for yourself. Oh, look at that. And now I have a box for throwing my stuff in that I'm going to take out of the kitchen as I declutter. Uh, but first, before we get on to more decluttering, let me show you what I ordered really quickly. Butternut squash soup. This is gonna be so yummy on a cozy day. I also got some other canned goods. I really like the Thrive Market brand, like their house brand. And this is some coconut cream to have with the Mossaman curry, which I thought sounded really good. I got a couple of other pantry staples, which these, I say pantry, but a lot of this is actually going to go into the kitchen, um, like these spices and stuff that I got. I got some apple cider vinegar, some extra virgin olive oil. I was low on that. These are some of the spices that I ordered that I'll transfer probably into a different little container. Gotta go with cinnamon sticks for the fall time. I have some fall coffee and drink recipes that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys soon. And I picked up some ingredients for that. Organic bone broth protein. Yes, that's going to be in a fall drink. Stay tuned. And of course, we got ourselves some regeneratively grown organic coffee, ethically sourced, which is so great. And I got the dark French roast for my espresso machine. And with that, I had to pick up some pumpkin spice creamer. Also picked up this apple butter, which I got in my last Thrive Market order that you guys saw. We have been loving this so much. It's cold and flu season coming up here. So I got this apple cider shot um, and it has prebiotics and honey and ginger in it. This creamy cashew cheese sauce for a kiddo who needs a little bit of help in that direction. And then I was so thrilled to see that they carry the Zum line from Indigo Wild. I have used this laundry soap for I wanna say like six or seven years now and it is one of my absolute favorites and their price on Thrive Market could not be beat. Something you might not know about me is that I am a total numbers and price comparison nerd. I got it from my mama and I am always comparing prices on Thrive Market to my local grocery store or other places that I could order groceries and man, so much of the time, most of the time, they cannot be beat, especially for those like special dietary needs. I also picked up these shells and plant-based cheese. This is something new to us, so I only got a couple of them to see if we like them. I'm gonna uh, probably make that for a kiddo for lunch today, but that is everything that I got this time from Thrive Market. Thanks so much to them for sponsoring that little portion of today's video, and thank you so much to you guys for checking out Thrive Market, clicking on that link in my description box. When you support the sponsors that support my channel, you're supporting my channel, and I appreciate that so much because I want to continue to offer free content, 100% free content to you guys. And working with sponsors from time to time allows me to do that. So it's time to find places for these items that I ordered. Now that I have some stuff cleared out in the kitchen island, I can start throwing some things in there. I also am just going to throw some things into the pantry down the hall and get going on. Let's work on the spice cabinet. Should that be what we do next? know 
I don't get all fancy about decanting things into special jars if I don't need to. My philosophy toward transferring anything into a new container is does the original packaging that it comes in hinder its ease of use so i decant bags of flour and sugar and stuff like that because i don't want to deal with those and a lot of the time when you're dealing with bags of stuff it's a more sustainable option because you don't have all of this clunky packaging that you're having to deal with after you're done using it so we've shopped at bulk stores before and now that i've ordered a couple of things from thrive there are some things that need to be transferred. So I usually just try to use old jars from spices that I have made my way through. I'll just kind of repurpose them. We have our pepper and salt grinders. So I'm going to um, fill up this new Himalayan pink salt from Thrive into here. I've tried the whole uniform little spice jars with special labels and stuff like that. And while it looks great on Pinterest, it does not work for me. There's a time and a place for repackaging things or decanting things, but most of the time for me, I just use the bottle that it originally comes in. I cannot find our pepper grinder. It's the, the matching one to the salt. I still have to go through the other shelf of spices. Um, maybe it's up there. And then I will transfer the black peppercorns. But that's my philosophy. I do have some little mason jars. Like if I don't have something available to transfer something into, I always try to find something that I already have on hand, which is another, I'm gonna go through all of these cabinets, but that is another thing that I need to go through is my little like mason jar, jam jar collection. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm gonna be grabbing little mason jars down from there because I'd like to put some of this Italian seasoning, this Cajun seasoning that I got from Thrive into those. definitely more tidy in here. We have our bulk spices up at the top, sweet and savory spice bins. These are the things that I don't use on a weekly basis, but still want access to. This is sort of like Weston's barbecuing smoked meats turntable. We have uh, honey and peanut butter up here. And then down here is sort of our most used spices. This eclectic mix in its different bottles. And this is our uh, oil and vinegar little rounder that we use. Also have vanilla extract there. I pretty much always opt for function over fanciness, especially as I've gotten older, as my kids have gotten older. I just don't have time to make things look Pinterest worthy. Not to mention the work to maintain a Pinterest worthy space. So if your spice cabinet or spice drawer looks eclectic and mixed, you've got plastic packaging mixed with glass, you are not alone and you're not doing it wrong. Looking so much better in there and then I have a little declutter pile going on with empty packaging or other spices that we're moving on from or we don't like anymore and now I'm going to move on to the other side of what is by the stove this cabinet could really use some attention this is sort of our like drinks cabinet and there's just stuff in here that we don't use anymore or empty packaging etc so let's declutter this cabinet Okay, 
this is all arranged, I think we need to drop this shelf a little bit lower. It's just not necessary to have it be that high up there because the stuff on the next shelf isn't too tall. I have some of Weston's stuff up here and then um, some coffee and like mocktail. I like these mixers from this brand. Uh, they're so yummy, non-alcoholic, and they just kind of pump up any little drink that I like to make. And then I have coffee stuff there, some stevia. This is my coffee station for right now. Look at that. I got the espresso machine out. A couple of you noticed it in my last video. But now that the espresso machine is out, we have not been using this Keurig. I bought this Keurig last year at Thanksgiving, Christmas time so that I could serve our guests easily. They could make themselves coffee. Pretty user-friendly system, um, more so than an espresso machine is. But we just don't use it anymore now that the espresso machine is here. It's, it's worth it for us to put the little bit of extra effort into espresso. So I'm not ready to like declutter the Keurig, but I think I am going to put it with my uh, hostess wear and stuff that I bring out when we have guests because right now it's just taking up space. I think it looks kind of funny with those two things side by side. I don't know. This is something that I am considering and thinking about. I'm going to take a peek into this drawer, which I honestly, I don't think that this really needs any decluttering. This is where I store the chocolate. I'm gonna keep that there. Um, I have just been putting hot pads right here because I had this empty space and it's right next to the stove. I have some hormonal supplements and stuff that I take as well as the tea. And I have loose tea, I have tea bags and this organizer and this drawer has been working really well. So nothing really to do here, but this spot right here. So we have these glass food storage containers. Um, this lid actually goes to one of our mixing bowls and does not belong down here. Remind me to put that away. Um, so the top drawer was for food storage and I like to store food storage. Oh look, a tea bag. A tea bag fell down into this drawer. I like to store our food storage after it's come out of the dishwasher. We make sure that it's thoroughly dry and then we pop the lids on. That way there's never a mismatch of lids to bottoms. It's a system that I've been doing for years, not just in this house or this kitchen um, and it works really well. But sometimes, especially when we've got kiddos taking more responsibility and learning how to do chores, do get a little bit of mismatching happening. I'm wondering if the bottom to this is in the dishwasher right now. I don't know. So this drawer is working just fine. There's even a little bit of room to expand. Um, but this drawer down here, this was for lunch boxes. So Weston had like these collapsible lunch boxes. Um, Haley had a couple of lunch boxes here that we would sort of rotate through when she was going to her little morning preschool last year. And then we have these little thermos um, like soup containers that when the boys were at that kindergarten preschool, they would bring hot food in this. We just, we haven't touched these. Getting into this new school year with all three of them being exclusively homeschooled, we're just, we're not using these. But they're a really nice thing to have on hand if we're gonna go on a trip or a hike or something and we wanna bring warm food with us. I say that acting like we're this outdoorsy family that goes on hikes and trips and stuff, but we really, don't and they're small so the amount that they hold is less than what any of us in this house would actually eat and i think that right there is the kicker for me i'd probably be better off just getting like one of those big legit uh thermoses like the old green ones um and donating these ones to someone who could actually use it because these are like made for kids but my kids don't eat like kids anymore especially my boys uh, it's like i have a teenager in the house so then that just leaves weston's one <laughs> food storage container which i think can be stored with our glassware and i'm going to make this drawer baking glassware which means i actually have to go into the lazy susan lower corner cabinet and grab the other glassware and stuff that i have in there which means i i now have to declutter over there <laughs> i feel like a ping pong ball sometimes when i am decluttering it's just like back and forth between multiple places because you declutter one spot and it affects the other i'm down on this floor doing decluttering and i'm realizing how crummy it is so 
Before we continue decluttering, I'm gonna do a little vacuum. before I vacuum the entire house. Does that ever happen to you? This is another one of those items that I got specifically for like school lunches. For like cutting out cheese or pieces of fruit. I am just not that mom. This is one of those items kind of like thinking, oh, if I hold on to these thermoses, if we become a sort of outdoorsy hiking sort of family, it's your fantasy self. I talked about this before in my decluttering or like simple living videos. And I think the chances of me regularly using this are so slim that the next time I go through this and do my decluttering in the kitchen, I'm gonna say no. So I'm gonna save myself the trouble and just say goodbye today. So that is the lower shelf for now. Things seem to be pretty stable as I turn the Lazy Susan, or actually this is technically a Super Susan. Bottom shelf is fine, top shelf is a little crazy. Um, these are lids that I thrifted for mason jars. That needs to go up at the mason jars, it's just literally in the wrong spot. I should have ordered brown sugar with my Thrive Market order. Um, uh, quite a few random things of chocolate chips. <laughs> thing of shredded coconut, which I should transfer. Better shake coconut out of a mason jar than have to deal with a Ziploc bag for sure. A thing of raisins here, but these are actually being eaten as snacks more than I'm using them for baking, which is why I originally put it here. So I'm going to slide that on over and put it in the snack drawer underneath the microwave and on the odd chance that I need some raisins for baking, I'll know where they are. So I keep my large mason jars of stuff like baking soda, brown sugar, which I need to refill, white sugar here in the center. And then I have some things like baking powder, baking cocoa in here. These containers that I made for this Lazy Susan, this whole system, is working beautifully. We love it, we access this every day, especially for our protein pancake mix, our oats, and our rice. I'll just be standing here, I'll bring the rice cooker down, grab a scoop of rice, we keep just a one cup measuring cup on the top of these bins, and we'll just go back and forth between the rice. It is such an easy, streamlined process. I am so happy with how it's working. Each of these chocolate chips are something different. I wonder if I should put like a little basket here just to kind of hold the bags of chocolate chips. What do you think? Or I could just put them there and call it good and do a better job of keeping them tidy. Much better in the lower corner cabinet, um, but now let's address the upper corner cabinet. So this one right here, we have had our small appliances. Something you might recognize as different is that I don't have our big instant pot pressure cooker. The main use for that gigantic pressure cooker was to cook oatmeal in the morning or rice for dinner. And so I replaced it in here with this very basic, it's just a Nutriware rice cooker. It works like a charm. It's exactly what we need size wise for the daily oatmeal and rice that we cook. The pressure cooker is now in the cabinet that's right there above the fridge. Hello, Minecraft on the TV. I mean, would one of my videos be complete without seeing Minecraft? on the TV. I always film when it's their screen time. But up here above the fridge, I have some um, of the food storage containers that we put into the fridge for storing veggies and stuff like that. When they're not being used, I pop them up there and then I also, I, there was a ton of room, so I just put that big pressure cooker up there. I am going to give that pressure cooker its chance <laughs> during the holiday season to see if I bring it out often enough to warrant keeping it. I'm not a big small appliances person. We have just a couple of things. We have a countertop toaster oven, a blender, and the rice cooker. 
that's it as far as small appliances go. Oh, and the espresso machine. But that stays out on the counter, though we like to put a lot of our small appliances away. And it's actually been really easy to do it in this cabinet. But stuff up here, we've got blender, um, accessories and stuff like that. It's just kind of gotten a little bit jumbled and there's probably some things that we could say goodbye to. to add to the declutter box um, just a couple of lids that we don't need they're just extra and then the recipe book for our um, rice cooker we just don't need it so that's in there this cabinets looking a lot better I'll just put the little blender bottle right there lots of crumbs from that <laughs> toaster oven but that's better now in there and then I think I'm just going to quickly straighten up this cabinet and see if I can find anything to declutter out Much better. Okay, this looks good. Um, I grabbed a couple of things to declutter out. Uh, this is going to be moved whenever we make our way through a little glass yogurt jar. I put it in my candle making bin because we like to um, pour our own beeswax candles, which is what I think I'm gonna do with this. This one here. I don't think this is food safe. I got this. Um, I actually found it on the side of the road. Someone had a pile of free stuff. This reminds me of that. I think it's like a five wick candle from the Hearth and Hand line at Target right now. I thought when I get my beeswax melted and going for the little beeswax candles we make, I could pour a big candle and put multiple wicks in this one. So I'm gonna put both of these into the little candle making bin. But now I just wanna go through this cabinet. This is the cabinet that it's really important for me to have it tidy because it has glass doors. I just have some random stuff in here like this. I have a mason jar back here. Serve treats at a football party and put it onto this. So I think that's gonna go back up here. And we can put this little amber glass on top of it. I think I'm gonna take these down. These are my two um, fall time mugs. This little tableau i don't know i'm not good at styling shelves it is definitely not one of my talents we don't need this anymore because i actually don't have this teapot so i can declutter that out i'm gonna ask weston about this coffee cup do you drink out of this coffee cup anymore okay sort of our everyday plates and bowls and cups here on these two lower shelves and then the more dressy or nice occasion things and then some decor pieces up there at the top so I think that's good for now. Definitely found a few things to declutter out. A glass could use a good wipe down. That's another thing about a glass front cabinet is it takes a bit more maintenance, but that's okay. I really love how this cabinet turned out. And now I'm taking these coffee mugs down from that cabinet because I don't really, I don't display these. I just drink out of them um, along with Weston's mug that he likes to use. I'm going to transfer them over here to this cabinet, which now has room in it. And now I think I'm ready to take the Keurig out, give it a little wash down and store it with the hostess wear. Keurig found a home in that cabinet above the fridge next to the Instant Pot. Um, and now I'm just going to rapid fire get through the rest of these drawers and cabinets. I know this video has been quite chatty up until this point. So thank you so much for giving me a space where I can sort of think out loud and work through things and really just bring you in on 
my thought process and how how I go about doing my decluttering and organizing. So I'm gonna pop you up on a tripod, play some music for you. If you haven't gotten up and done some decluttering with me yet, here's another chance we've got a bit of this video left. Let's do this together. decluttering the kids plates and bowls drawer and I'm looking over at our dining room table and it's just covered in plates and bowls so I know they all fit in here and I know we use them all but I was able to get a couple of things out of here that we don't use um, these straws they're all chewed on we don't even have the cup that goes to this lid so that can get tossed into the donate box actually the chewed up straw I'm gonna throw away I don't think anyone would want that. And now it's time to move on to the most dreaded cabinet in the kitchen. done by working under here, my most dreaded spot, which ended up not being too bad. Things are always bigger and tougher in our minds than we think they're gonna be. Um, but then I realized that I forgot about the cooking utensils drawer, which is just about the craziest spot in this kitchen. So I'm gonna finish off this project by getting this taken care of. this drawer, but it's actually empty. This is where my kitchen towels go. Can you tell I need to do laundry? But that just about does it. It feels so nice in here to get stuff straightened up and decluttered. I was able to fill ugh, this Thrive Market box with the stuff that I am decluttering out. I also have a kitchen garbage bag full of the garbage and another one halfway full of recycling. So this feels good to be able to say goodbye to these things. Now that this room is under control, I am so looking forward to doing some cozy autumn and holiday baking and cooking. And I'll be sure to share some of that with you guys in blog posts or in videos here on my channel. Make sure you're subscribed and you have that bell button turned on so you don't miss future videos from me, whether it's another messy to minimal decluttering episode like this one or a cooking video. Thanks again so much to Thrive Market for sponsoring a little portion of today's video. Don't forget to check out the link in my description box, thrivemarket.com slash Natalie Bennett to get you 30% off your first order and a free gift up to $50 in value. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Thanks so much for spending a little part of it here with me on my channel and I'll catch you later.